What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel. And today I wanted to dive into a crucial topic that can make or break your tech career and that's avoiding bad advice. So I wanted to discuss one common pitfall, the overemphasis on a single skill or tool. Now I know this sounds casual, but trust me, it's a serious matter that can impact your future in tech. So let's get to it. So let's start by addressing the allure of a specific skill or tool. Like for instance, a programming language or framework. It's easy to get excited about the latest hot technology. But here's the thing, the tech industry is diverse and constantly evolving. What's hot today might be old news tomorrow. And advice that overemphasizes a single skill may limit your career potential. Think about it. If you put all your eggs in one basket, you're in trouble if that basket gets dropped. I've seen people who've been experts in a particular tool only to find themselves stuck when it becomes obsolete. So what's the solution? Well, it's all about considering the broader context. You need to think about your career goals. Also, what do you want to achieve in the tech industry? Because different roles require different skills and skills should align with your career objectives. For instance, if your goal is to become a data scientist, becoming a master in web development framework won't help you much. You need to focus on skills like data analysts, machine learning, and statistics. Now let's talk about the ever-changing nature of the tech industry. Trends come and go faster than you can say JavaScript framework. So emphasizing one skill too much can hinder your adaptability. You might become so specialized that you can't pivot when the industry shifts. Remember when mobile app development was all the rave? Then suddenly the focus shifted to AI and cloud computing. And if you were too fixated on one thing, you'll be left behind. But how can you spot advice that overemphasizes a single skill or tool? Here are some tips. Watch out for keywords or phrases that make it sound like this one thing is the be all in all. And I remember having conversations a while back about how certain people were pushing just AWS. AWS this, AWS that, and there was no conversation centered around any other skills or tools. Now, another tip is to research the advisor's background and credentials. And I recommend you do the same for me. That's why I post my LinkedIn. That way you guys can see that I'm qualified to give this advice. And this is based on everything I've done in a career. I'm not the best, you know what I'm saying? There's plenty of people out there that have more credentials or higher credentials than I have, but it's always a good idea to research the people you're listening to just to verify. Now, another tip is to always seek out multiple sources. Don't just rely on solely one person's opinion. And that's including me. I don't, I don't want to be the only one. I want you to hear different perspectives. That's one of the reasons I interview different people that work in the tech industry, because they've had different experiences for me. And like I always say, you could take one network administrator on one side of the com country and then another, and I'm sure they've got into the IT field totally different ways. So just be careful out there because I've heard some horror stories from people who follow bad advice blindly and it's not pretty. Now check this out. The key is balanced and informed decision making. You want to be adaptable and prepared for industry changes. Yes, it's essential to have expertise, but it's equally crucial to have a broad skill set. So don't pigeonhole yourself. Embrace continuous learning and adapt to the industry's twists and turns. Stay curious, stay informed, and stay ahead of the curve. All right, so we've covered a lot today. Remember the tech industry is like a constantly shifting puzzle and overemphasizing one piece can make it hard to see the bigger picture. I hope this video helps you avoid the pitfalls of bad advice and navigating your tech career with confidence. If you got any stories or experience to share, please do so in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Let's help each other out. And before I wrap up, if you found this video valuable, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and ring the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of our future content aimed at keeping you tech savvy and informed so thanks for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course keep tech